Hello and welcome. Here's how to install Kodi 18.9, which is the Lia version. Kodi has just updated to version 19, which is called Matrix, and many people have found that Kodi auto updated. Unfortunately, the update has stopped many of the add ons from working, and this is due to a programming language change relating to Python 3. Over time, the add ons will be updated, but for today, going back to Lia is the best thing to get things working. This video will cover the basics for installing Kodi, however, it doesn't cover all of the add ons and builds, etc. You'll also want to prevent Kodi from updating automatically in the future, and I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Just as a quick heads up, this is what we'll be doing. First off, we'll uninstall Kodi if you have it installed, then we'll enable developer options, install an app called File Commander, will allow the install of untrusted apps. Then we're going to go across to the phone, that can be iPhone, Android, even a computer for that matter. We're going to install the Google Drive and the key point here is to sign into the Google Drive with the same account that's on the TV, same account. Um, after that, we're going to download Kodi from a web page. We'll then go back to the TV, open up the file commander, sign into Google Drive and install Kodi 18.9 Lia. Now it sounds like a few steps, but honestly it doesn't take that long. So enough of me talking, let's get into it. We'll start by uninstalling Kodi. Select Kodi and press and hold the select button. Then go down to view details and select uninstall. That's done. Click the home button, go up to the top and across to the right to settings and we'll enable developer mode. For this, we'll go down to system, then about, and we'll head towards the bottom for Android TV OS build. Press the select button many times and you will see a message pop up saying you're a few steps away from being a developer and it confirms you are now a developer. That's that section complete. Click the home button. Now we'll install the file commander. So we'll do a voice search for it. Install file commander. Here's file commander, file manager and free cloud on the Google Play Store. Click install on it. And after a few seconds, that will complete. The next step will be to allow the file commander to install untrusted apps. So once this is complete, we'll make our way to that option. Over to settings once more. Then this time to apps, security and restrictions at the bottom. We have unknown sources, just click select. And we want to go to file commander and just toggle that on. For the next steps, we'll go to the phone. On your phone, we'll install the Google Drive. Go to the App Store and do a search for Google Drive. The icon looks like this once installed. When it is installed, open it up and sign in with the same Google account as you have on the TV. With that done, we'll now get the install file for Kodi. Open up a browser and go to apkmirror.com. Now this is a reputable website which has reputable APK installation files, so you can rest assured it will be fine. What we'll do is do a search and we're looking for Kodi 18.9. So we'll just type that in. And search. It has found 18.9, two variants. Let's click it. We'll scroll down, see available APKs, select that. And we want to select the version, which is ARM EABI V7A. Click that. Scroll down again. This gives us some information about the file. It's around 60 meg in size. And now we'll download the APK, which is the installation file. Click download. And you can see in the top right, the download has started. That's now complete. So from here, we can go to the Google Drive, click on the plus sign, go to upload, go to browse. And this is the latest file according to the time, just here. 
So this will take a few moments to upload. We can check the progress by going to files and I'll leave that to do what it's doing and go back to the TV. Back on the TV, we'll now go to the file commander so we can get to the Google Drive and install that file. Go across to apps, then come down to your apps. You may need to go to the far right hand side and click see all. Then at the bottom, you'll see file commander. Click it to open. Click continue on this message. Select cloud. Select allow. Then go down to Google Drive. It just confirms the account. Then go to My Drive and select the install file. Do you want to install this application? Yes. App installed. Click open. Click continue. Allow. And as you can see, Kodi 18.9 Lear is installed. With Kodi installed, let's just bring the shortcut to the home screen. Then we'll go to the Google Play Store and prevent the auto updates. So we'll go to your apps, scroll across to the far right hand side, go to see all, press and hold on Kodi, select move and we'll just bring this up to the top row. Click back to finish and press home. Now we'll do a search for the Google Play Store. It's a voice search. Google Play Store. Opening Google Play Store. Go along to the far right corner and you'll notice on the left hand side, we have manage apps and games. If you just quickly go across to updates, you'll see that the Kodi 19 is ready for an install. Of course, we don't want that. That's what we've just got around. So we go down to settings. We have auto update apps, select that and select don't auto update apps. Now this is a blanket kind of setting. It's going to stop all apps from updating. Um, however, you know, you can always come back here and change that if you so wish. So that completes the video. I hope you found it useful and you now have Kodi 18.9 working and you can get your add-ons. If you do need to see a video on how to do the builds and add-ons, let me know in the description, sorry, let me know in the comments and um, I'll be sure to do something to help out. Um, just wanna say thank you for choosing my video. If you have found it useful, let me know in the comments. It just helps me know that I'm on the right track and giving the content that people are looking for. Thanks again once again and have a great day ahead.